Are you a woodworker? Are you a guitar player? Maybe you've actually thought about putting the two together. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm going to be teaching a guitar building class using these kits from US Guitar Kits. You have two kits and in two species, one is a sapele back and side with a spruce top. And the other guitar is a sycamore guitar back and side with a cedar top. These are both great looking guitars, great sounding guitars. Now interestingly enough, about 40% of my students actually don't play. And, I, and I've taught this class many, many times now and you know, I've always been interested to find out why they would build a project that they're, they're not going to use or play. And, you know, many folks are building as a, as a gift, a wedding present uh, for a, a, maybe a grandchild or a son or a daughter. Uh, some have donated the guitars. So, you know, that's always for me a great thing to see somebody uh, put an investment into a project and then be able to donate it. That's, that's, that's a great thing. So, um, you know, and some it's just it's a new challenge. You know, some, uh, you know, projects just, you know, more square boxes and, you know, things like that. They're great projects, but all of a sudden you get to a point where you're ready for the next step. And a guitar is certainly one of those things that, um, you know, it's a project that doesn't sit on the wall. It doesn't sit on the mantle or hang on a wall. It's, it's, it's something you use, you pick up, you play. Uh, you know, you, sh you show other people they can't believe you built it, so it's a pretty rewarding project. So I won't go through all the details of the, the kit, as, as there's some other videos out there um, that you can check out that really kind of take you through all the details, but generally uh, the, the kit itself is packaged in a hard shell case, and some of the work has been done. And if you've seen any of my videos before, You've heard me say, don't be fooled, there's plenty of work left to be done. So, you know, just getting this top glued on requires shaping, scalloping, uh, trimming of these braces, uh, pockets in the lining, a bunch of things just to be able to get that top glued on. Uh, we glue the fingerboard on, we do shaping of that fingerboard, inlays, fretting, uh, just a number of different things that we do to get from a kit all the way through to the finished guitars. So this is kind of an interesting step. You'll see here this body has a channel that's been cut with a, a laminate trimmer. On the top it's, there's actually two steps, one for binding and one for purfling. And then on the back just binding. And you'll see here we've used some blue tape with some Duco cement to be able to hold that on while the glue dries. From the beginning of the class to the end of the class, um, students have really a different respect for what goes into this particular step. Uh, they start looking at other guitars a little bit different. This is a tricky step. It's not, uh, it's not an impossible step, but it's tricky. It's got these little fine little pieces of binding and purfling that you're trying to get glue in between. and. Um, you know, learning some of the, the methods that I've come up with to be able to get this on quickly, efficiently, and really so that there's no gaps in pockets. That's, some people say that's worth the price of the class right there. But, you know, you'll see a guitar here with the binding and purfling already on. It's ready for scraping. So, you know, I provide all of the tools. So, you know, nothing worse than, than building a project and not having what you need. I have every specialty tool that you need to be able to, to do the job with the right tool. So it's a really important part of this whole process. So obviously the, the project itself is, is kind of the focus. It's building a guitar. But as an instructor, I really try and make sure that you, you walk away with more than just a guitar, that you walk away with some skills. Um, that, you know, everything from chisels, rasps, um, the laminate trimmer, you know, there's a, there's a number of different skills that folks walk away with, with that they can apply to other projects down the road. And that's, as an instructor, that's what I'm most interested in teaching. So, you know, it's an environment also where there's up to six students in a class and 
you know, everybody has a story. I have a bunch of stories I share, uh, but each each student has a story, and it really kind of brings this group together. That um, you know, even at the end of the first night, people uh, really have kind of found a new friend, so to speak. You know, and it really makes for a fun time during the class. So uh, certainly hope you'll you'll take uh, take a real close look at this. Uh, as, as really your next project. So if you need more details on the kit, again, you can go to usguitarkits.com, see the details. Uh, if you go through the site, you can certainly ask any questions and, and I'll respond um, to you through that site. Um, anyway, I hope, I uh, look forward to you being my, one of my next students and uh, I can assure you, you'll have a great time. So be safe in all your woodworking. Uh, have fun playing, keep playing, and, uh, and rock on.